Hi. Today we're going to show you how Lisa and I went camping in this Mazda 3 for four solid weeks. Stay tuned. In the spring, when the pandemic was hitting, Lisa and I decided that we were going to go for a ride. We can quarantine right in here. We're just going to see how far we, we had no idea how far we could get. But we knew that if we had everything we needed, clothes, food, and a place to sleep, we had a fighting chance. Let me show you how we did that. So let me show you what we started out with here. We have a 2010 Mazda 3. Uh, very basic. I have power windows and nothing else is power. I even bought the XM radio aftermarket. But you can see here standard bucket seats, full size back seat. This is not the hatch version. Come around, we'll show you the trunk. And so this is how much room we had. We did 12,000 miles in four solid weeks of traveling with this thing, sleeping in the car the whole way. Um, now that you see what we started with, let's transform this into the camper. So as you're about to see, making the bed every night got to be a bit of a chore. So we ended up keeping it made, uh, you know, just keeping the um, bed part set up most of the time. Let me show you how we're gonna do that by starting right here stick with me here there's that and this one here okay now we have our camp pads and if you notice these are going right into the trunk so there is our mattress now watch Okay, so we have the pad down, and now I'm going to stretch out a couple of sleeping bags. Now, mind you, it's probably 85 degrees right now, but we did this in April when it was a little bit cooler. The sleeping bags were very handy to have. So there's one. Now I'll get the other one. All right, so now we have the other sleeping bag. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I am not climbing in this thing tonight. But, there's that. Okay, so now we have our sleeping bag set up. We didn't really zip them up. We just used them sort of like as, uh, as big blankets. Um, but, let's get the rest of the stuff in here. So now, let's load this up with the gear that we were lugging with us. Pool is empty right now, but that was always filled with food for us. There's Lisa's clothes. I have the much smaller bag over here. Okay, there is roughly the gear that we had. Um, we usually had uh, we usually had a case of water, bottled water on top of all of this, um, but pretty much. This is what we had right here on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, it's time for bed. So here is where it got interesting. Everything that's in the back needs to be put in the front. And let's move that over there. So now we have everything piled in the front. At least I don't know if you can get a shot in there. But as you can see, it's almost the size of a full-size bed. I'm about to climb in here and show you how a six-foot-plus person can fit in here and get some sleep. Again, I'm not climbing in to the sleeping bag. It's a little warm. Okay. And this is how we slept.
So there you have it. That is how Lisa and I traveled 12,000 miles in 28 days all around the United States. Didn't need a hotel. Didn't need a restaurant. We were self-contained right here. Nobody thought we could do it. But this is how we did it. Hopefully you like this video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for watching.